Swift was very vocal and reactive as she took the stand today. She was grilled on what she could recall from the 2013 incident. She told the former DJ's attorney that he could ask her a million questions about what happened that night, and her answer would always stay the same. Swift, wearing her signature red lipstick, took the stand. Her mother was sick, so she couldn't attend, but her brother and father were looking on as Mueller's attorney, Gabriel McFarlane, asked Swift if she was sure that Mueller groped her. Swift said, quote, he stayed on my bare cheek as I lurched away from him uncomfortably. The first couple of milliseconds, I thought it must be a mistake. I moved to the side very quickly. Swift claims he continued his hold in this picture obtained by TMZ. When she was asked why she didn't react right away, she said, quote, a light switched off in my personality. I couldn't even look at them. I looked at the floor and in a monotone voice said, thank you for coming. Taylor then brought up Mr. Mueller's description about what he said happened. Mueller says it was very fast and there was a lot of awkward jostling that led to an awkward photo. To this, Swift said, I want to be very clear about something. This was not jostling. There was no diving into the picture. We were perfectly in place to have the picture taken. This was not an action shot. McFarland also spent much of the hour asking Swift why her bodyguard, the only witness to the alleged groping incident, didn't stop it when he saw it happening. To this, Swift really had no explanation. Her bodyguard is expected to testify at some point. The witness list isn't public, so we won't know when. The trial could go into next week. Jamie Leary for CBS News.